Two libraries in the Pikes Peak region may be forced to shut their doors or ask you for more money. It's all because of budget woes at the Pikes Peak Library District. Those two libraries are the Ruth Holly location in eastern Colorado Springs and the Rock Roman location in the northwest part of town. Cardio 13's Tyler Cunnington is live at the Rock Roman branch tonight. Tyler, you spoke with the library district and concerned patrons today. Yeah, Barton Heather, the Pikes Peak Library District says it's weighing a couple of options, one of which, as you're saying, includes the closure of not only just this Rock Ribbon Library location behind me, but another in the city of Colorado Springs. However, residents who I talked to today that use these facilities often say even the thought of having to lose out on them is troubling. Data shows tens of thousands of people visit Rock Ribbon and Ruth Holly libraries in Colorado Springs every year. But the Pikes Peak Library District hired a consultant agency to evaluate their facilities and budget. The agency says if the district's funding remains the same for the coming years, closing those two locations, which are leased properties, would make the most sense to keep the district afloat. Without this location, I'll have to drive all the way downtown as my closest library. That news falls sorely on the ears of Betsy Hovermel, a regular at Ruth Holly. So I, I would really be sad if this food closed. And the feelings were mutual over at Rock Rimmon. We've met people here. We've had play dates with people that we've met here. And so it is frustrating and, and yeah, not happy about it. The other options presented to the district suggest increasing funding anywhere from 27 to $51 per taxpayer, which would allow the district to keep these locations open and even upgrade others. However, the district says that any decision is months away from happening. It's a preliminary report. The board hasn't had any discussion or made any determination, and there is no vote coming up um, at the July board meeting. Now, the district says it will hold public comment periods this fall and will listen to everyone's concerns before they come to a final decision later this year. Reporting live outside the Rock Room and Library, Tyler Cunnington, Radio 13. Yeah, you can see how that would concern many people out there. Tyler, thank you.